chilling with your boy Hank Lundy, also known as Hammer and Hank Lundy. You know, boxing record 26 wins, 6 losses, 1 draw, and 13 by knockout. Nearly all day. Signed with Jay Prince, that's my manager. You know, he also has Andre Ward, a couple big stars. I may know him. A little short guy with the Kango. You know, and I'm signed with um, Classic Entertainment Sports. You know, they race out of Rhode Island. You know, head guy named Jimmy Birdfield. I've been with him my whole career. And you know, you rocking with your boy Hammer, one of the top guys in the game at 135 and 140. Top 10 all across the board. You know, rated in every division, you know, and all especially. WBC, IBF, you know, WBO, all across the board. Last fight was against you know, Pound for Pound champ, Terrence Crawford, you know, and I held my own, you know. I'm, I'm one and only, you know what I mean, hammering Hank, you know, Philly's tough guy, Philly's mouth, you know what I mean, Mr. Punch in your face. <laughs> I actually walked in the gym at the age of 18, you know, no experience, you know, came here, I'm a former football, high school football star, and this was my way out, you know, I got in the gym, next thing you know, four years went by, you know, I'm fighting for, you know, the golden glove, you know, golden, you know, the golden melon, I came out with the silver melons, but, you know, I had a good, you know, amateur career, you know, I was a natural, you know, everything progressed fast, and then next thing you know, you know, I came off into the pro race. Me, you know, it's a self-motivational, you know what I mean, sport. You know, if you don't put in the hard work, you're not going to win. And, you know, versus playing football is a team effort. Boxing is a team effort, but you actually have to get in there and, and outwork the other guy, you know, and give you all in all. If you don't run, you know, if you out partying, it's all going to show up in the ring. So half of the time, you know, what your coach tell you to do, you have to actually get out there and do it yourself, you know. And it's all about hard work. If you want it, you got to go get it. And it's all about, you know, who want it and who don't want it. Okay, Terrence Crawford, you know, it was a big fight, you know, um, bigger guy. But like I told him, I'm looking at you and any other guy that's stepping the ring with me, man. No respect. It's all great in there, you know, everything I do, I do for my family, you know. That's for both of us, you know. Fight. He said I got a lot of respect for you because a lot of guys went fight me. And I came in there and I gave him all, you know what I mean, he can handle it, you know. I still think the referee championship fight should step in here and let it go like it was go, man. You got two warriors in here, you know. And I get a lot of love and a lot of support for everybody around the world. But, you know, to each his own. And I still want you. I'm going to get you back in that ring. Danny Garcia. Um, two Philly guys came up with each other in the amateur. We actually was on the same team in the 2006, you know, national team for Philadelphia. You know, he, we held it down, you know, um, a good friend. You know, they kind of, you know, judged me because I called Danny out. It's like this, man. One thing about me, man, if you're in the same weight class, you got a bullseye on your back, you can't take that person. You know, I'm going to tell you like this, friends, they put on some of the spectacular fights there is. You got Sugar Shane and Oscar De La Hoya, or best friends, and look at the wars they put on. You know, a lot of guys, oh, you shouldn't call Philly versus Philly out, but at the end of the day, man, I'm just trying to be great and put on good fights. But at the end of the day, much love and support to Danny, you know me, holding Philly down, you know, like myself, and I mean, keep on doing what you do. I've been fighting a lot of guys at 140, 140 is not my real weight, 135 is in the world, no, at 135 I can't be beat, you know, I fight them both, um, any of the current chance that's right now at 135, I want them, you know, and I guarantee none of them can deal with it, you know, and I even consider going back at 140 fighting at 142, you know, none of these guys have touched me either, man, you know, I'm just a beast, I'm home, man, be ready for, for anybody and whoever, man. Listen, y'all know me, and y'all know what it is, y'all know what I get into. It's trouble for y'all, I'm back, you know. I will fight at 140, you know, unless the money right, but more so, my main goal is to be world champ at 135. You got um, Bartholomew, you know him, you got Mickey Bay. Um, but more so, I want the guys, you know, that's about to get up. You got Robin Easton, who's a good friend. 
know, me and him squad a lot of time. You know, guys like that. Once you get a world title, I'm on your back, you know. And anybody with a world title, you know, I'm, I'm here, man. Listen, y'all can't run from me forever, man. I'm a top 10 guy, and I'm the gatekeeper at 135. Y'all want to have to see me sooner later. I don't know all y'all names, but listen, I'm coming for y'all, so y'all better be weird. This your boy, Hammer and Hank, Byron Sports. We coming to a closing. I'm telling y'all, y'all tune in. Hammer and Hank coming to a city and town near you. It's Hammer Town. I'm about to weave out this motherfucker like Mayweather. This bone structure is molded from the gutter, and it's my move. I guess that is what makes me successful. Somewhere tropical, bad bitch laid out.